Welcome everyone to another episode of Old Roommates. Today on the show, we are revisiting the 1997 epic, epic movie, Titanic. So grab a lifeboat, quick, because they're on enough. The episode is about to begin. Welcome everybody to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. This is Brian. And this is Christina. And today, we are revisiting the behemoth motion picture, Titanic, made for $200 million. It made over $2.2 billion. Wow. And um, it's usually at the end of the episode. Yeah, but this I'm sorry, but this is Brian. Oh, and this is Christina. We already, we already said, said that. that? Oh, okay, <laughs> we're chewing. We're you know, we're still trying Brian. to. Brian, it was still Christina. We're trying to multitask and eat ginger chews during this episode. I know we, we haven't. Have not we haven't had them in a thing. while. I know it's so good. This is so, this is my breakfast. <laughs> and Christina, we begin as we always do, and this is going to be really interesting. When we talk about then, yes, please tell us. The first time you saw Titanic. I'm going to do even better. Oh. I'm going to talk about the first time I saw a trailer for Titanic. And Why? that was the moment oh. that I wanted to see Titanic. I remember, I don't know, actually, I don't remember what movie where I was in, but I was in the movie theater mm -hmm. and I see this preview mm -hmm. for Titanic and I was. Gobsmacked. Amazed. Yeah. I was so excited for this movie to come out. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. I remember the part of the trailer has the ship going like right, right up and down, right? Yeah. Um, yeah vertically that's right. Yeah. Through, yeah. Vertically, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, holy crap, I have got to see this movie. I was so excited about it. It was probably like, what, a year? Like they used to do previews like a year in advance or something yeah they? big movies like that they did a little trip yeah. but i remember i remember being so excited to see it so when it came out i said we have to see it in the movie theater mm -hmm. so i definitely saw it in the movie theater and i remember liking it i mean obviously it's so this is a three hour three hours and 15, 15 minute yeah. movie and i don't remember it feeling as long as it was mm -hmm. um i do remember loving from the moment it hit the iceberg Okay. From that point on, I felt like it w lived up to everything I was expecting it to be. The love story with Jack and Rose, it was fine. Mm -hmm. But I thought it went on too long. It was a little bit unrealistic. I, you know, I, I didn't love that part of it. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was a lot of kind of extra that I didn't really necessarily need. Mm -hmm. There was, um, it didn't feel great with that the two of them i didn't feel like she i thought she was a lot older you know like i think mm -hmm. that was a lot of criticism or surrounding that i think mm -hmm. back then but i i did i enjoyed it i liked it i watched yeah. it i think i saw it a couple of different times yeah um it held my attention and it was just very fascinating and i will say and i know you you will have a chance to talk oh at some thank point you time. sure can't wait i will say it i i had a slight fascination with titanic since then wow I ended up having this video game, okay? So it was one of those video games that, like, you put into the computer. It was like a, a DVD. Yeah, yeah. It was called Titanic Out of Time, something like that. Okay. This, I'm not really a gamer, okay? I like games. Mm -hmm. I, I usually have one game going at one point in time on my phone. This was my favorite by far, and the reason is, the, the premise is, you, you know, you, you meet this guy, and... He's down in his locker, whatever, and he has this opportunity to go back in time on the Titanic and prevent it from sinking or something. No, was, was that what it was? No, no, I'm sorry. He had to solve the, the crime before the Titanic sank. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And what was fascinating about this game is you were a first person and you basically walked along in uh, at the Titanic. Wow. And you could talk to people. You could go into, like, the gym, for mm -hmm. example, and move the equipment in the gym. Mm -hmm. You could go up on the deck. You could go around. So, for me, it was exploring Titanic. You could go down. Like, you really, it was a very, very cool game. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, I, not too long ago, a few years ago, I was like, 
what happened to that game? Because I was actually thinking about it. But this movie started that whole like kind of fascination with Titanic. And yeah. then I ended up seeing like an exhibit in Chicago about yeah. the Titanic. Whatever. So it started this kind of fascination with Titanic for me. So I really, really liked that movie. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really well done. You know what? You have failed me in this friendship <laughs> for the last time. Christina, we saw this together. Oops. We saw this movie we together did? in 1997. It was oh my me. God, I'm so sorry. I, if memory serves, it was, I know it's definitely me and you. And, I, and Lisa. Oh. And I think even Naomi. And it was, Chris, I believe it was Christmas Day night. Oh, okay. Because Naomi and I used I to always you. go to the movies. Um, Name was our guest on the Breakfast Club episode. We used to go to the movies every Christmas night. Yeah. And um and then um I was like, we're gonna go to the movies, see Titanic. And you're like, oh, I'll definitely go. And then you're like, Lisa's gonna come too. I'm like, oh my god, great. Oh, okay. So yeah. yeah. So we all went. And it's funny because I think um our guests were much more in love with the love story than we were, than you and I. Because I have the same note. Yeah. I didn't find this. This is all then that I thought. The movie was so well done, yeah. so well made, so crazy, the sinking of the ship. But even the beginning with all the costumes and makeup and the beautiful boat. And and I liked how they got to the story, too. Yeah. I liked the old lady recognizing the picture. Okay. You know, so, I liked that part of it. We disagree on that, but we'll get into that. Um, but it's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't care for that, to be honest. And then... So all that to say, I I struggled the most with the love story. I didn't find it a lot of chemistry. And what you said, because she's supposed to be 17 in this, and Kate Winslet's character, Rose, and I think for me it was like, because she's so of the time, like, quaffed, and ma- she's, ma- you know, she's made up, and mm-hmm. she's really designed to look more mature. She's mm-hmm. tightened to give her more curves, like the, the corset, the, the gowns, and the makeup, and the hair. And the, in her etiquette level, sort of suggests an older woman. But then you have this sort of um, rascally character, Jack Dawson, Leonardo DiCaprio, who looks so young. Mm-hmm. And it is a weird um, thing. Now, I, people might be wondering, like, well, that's not, you know, what a double standard. Older men are often with younger mm-hmm. women in movies right. all the time. But I think um, so much of it hangs on their instant sort of like chemistry right that it doesn't seem it, it's already it's already hard to believe because yes. he wins the ticket in the game you know a, a gambling bet um card game and then she's this upper crusty you know woman and so i think that i think that's kind of where the struggle was that they just looked to, there was there was class issues there's also maturity issues there's like too many issues. too many issues and yeah. i just didn't i just didn't buy it then mm-hmm. um but also i thought it was a a huge movie i didn't it did not disappoint mm-hmm. um but believe it or not i think i've only seen it twice and it was probably once at the theater and then once when it came out on vhs probably yeah <laughs> um well it's a huge it. time commitment i mean it it's, it's hard it's not really one movie like oh yeah let's like let's pop that in and watch <laughs> it. like right. you have to commit to a half a day yeah. To watch this movie. Um, so that was then. And this is now. Christina, when did you rewatch Titanic? So I actually watched this a few weeks ago. Okay. With um, with Matt. We had, you know, a Saturday afternoon. I, and I, I gave him an out. I'm like, Matt, you don't have to watch this. Yeah. It's three and a half hours, you know? Yeah. And he's like, no, no, no. I think it'll be Let's good. keep adding time to it. Three and three hours. <laughs> Next time we say it, we'll say four. Yeah, this, is hour, this is a four and a half hour. This is a four and a half hour movie. <laughs> <laughs> it took me three days to watch it. Yes. So yeah, but I was like, you know, it's it's a big commitment. It's like, no, no, it'll be good. It'll be good. And I th- I'm glad that it, we did watch it together because it was nice. I, I sometimes some of these long movies, I'll watch like an hour here and then like an hour another mm-hmm. time. But this forced me to watch the whole thing at once. And I think it, it would lose something if we had to watch it at different times. So mm-hmm. it was good. But um, but yeah, I mean, honestly. It was it was good. I mean, I st- it, th- it was funny. I did notice a couple of things that it wasn't quite it, well. I, and I think part of it is because you're watching it in in a living room, right? You know, I mean, in the movie theater, it's so much more effective. Yes, all yes, of this stuff. Yeah. And of course, now it's been quite a few years since 
you know, with technology and things. Like, there are definitely times where I'm like, that is a terrible green, sc- green, green screen. Okay. Like, I thought a couple of times. Not yeah. too bad. Mostly when they were out on deck. You know what I mean? Like, gonna, uh, yeah, I have a similar yeah. note about that. Yeah, yeah. Other stuff was fine. Like, I yeah. felt like the ship itself was fine. Yeah. Like, that, that sort of effect was, I thought, was really well done. But some of the green screen stuff was a bit much for me. But, I mean, all in all, I, I, I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. I looked a little differently at the relationship between the two of them. Mm-hmm. I think my first my first thought was I didn't think she looked as old as I thought she yes. looked, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. obviously, because now I'm like 30 years older than her. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it was a little bit different. It was a little different. What about you? What were your like first kind of impressions with it? Yeah, I thought um, I couldn't believe how bored I was with that whole intro with Bill Paxton and the going under, I mean, it, I think I found it cooler. Oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it cooler then. Because it's kind of yes. weird, to be honest. Like, um, it starts off with that, you know, is it sepia or sepia? Toned, like, imagery yeah. of the people. And you really get a sense of, like, like oh, my God, there are so many people on this on this mm-hmm. ship. And then it goes right into, like, the sonar, like, underwater. And you find out how much pressure is at the, you know, under underwater and all the things they've had to do to capture this footage. And I was a little like, oh, God, this is going on a, a little bit longer than I remembered. But then I thought it was cool when they find the safe. Mm-hmm. And the, and it's such a letdown. They said, oh, Geraldo Rivera. I, 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 I was laughing was about great. that. Like, that I great. kind of forgot a lot about, about those things. I forgot all about that very beginning. Yeah. And my first thought when I was watching it was, why aren't there so many, why are there fish around? Like, normally, like, a shipwreck... Yeah. When you're going into a shipwreck that's been there for how many years? Like 50 there years? There are a couple. But a couple. But is it, I mean, is this a stupid thing to say? Is it just so deep and cold? But wouldn't that be good hiding? Like, not really hiding, but like, I would feel like there would yeah. be so much more moss growing. So it is real footage. Oh, is it really? So James Cameron, if, if Wikipedia is to be believed, like that was actually a selling point because he said, if you give me this budget, I will go down there and actually film What's left of the Titanic? So, that is what I'm led to believe by my little bit of research. Honestly, it would take three days to read mm-hmm. about the making of this movie, probably a lot longer. But even the t- even the Wikipedia page, I was like writing notes, and I'm like, oh my god, this is just too, it's too much. It's too many notes. So much. Um, but I think that's part. That was I believe that was something that that um, why he got backing for this crazy budget was because oh no, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to film what I can find of. The Titanic. I didn't know um, that. That's pretty cool. Obviously, this is, and I think he started that footage. Oh God, I, I hate when I talk myself into corners like this. But I, but it was, but it was before. I want to. I'm gonna say maybe even years before, like the movie, and so, um, you know, the actual stuff because, um, I know there was certain scenes, like one scene when she's laying naked to be having the portrait. That was done. I think like while they were still building like the sets of the boat, wow. but they were just already running behind and the budget was just already getting crazy. Sure. And so anyway, but that, that the first thing they ever shot was the portrait scene, which is super random. That it's like so she's naked. And imagine that being like, like your first, first day of scene. Take off your clothes. And I will, and I will venture to say that like, uh, I think Kate, that's like the weirdest scene for her character because she's, kind of flirty and playful and yeah. I feel like that didn't ring true because she's so Miss Etiquette like it just she felt a, she was a little contemporary she was mm-hmm. a little blanche you know what I mean um, yes and he was super professional right well because he does this he did this all through Paris right. for a dime whatever um okay so my yeah my first take was like that that footage I was just a little bored and then I under, then I remembered like oh this is why this has to happen this way and yeah okay um also, no bones. That was strange too. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I didn't do a whole lot of yeah. research. It but seemed like there should have been I would more hope, remains. There were fifteen hundred people on that ship. But I, I would hope, if there were, there would have been fake. Like something weird. Something oh, totally. Weird about yeah, that. yeah. Like you know, because I mean, it's a real tragedy, and so. I wondered if it was a judgment call. If maybe they did, and they were like, "Let's not show." Yeah, that. I hope that that's what it was. But it did seem like Odd. there should be remains. I think I agree. 
Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I thought that was strange. And this well. was before I realized it was real footage, of course. I don't know the history enough to be like, did they just get in it out of respect? They did pull all the bodies out. Like maybe they really did. Um, maybe they've done that. Yeah. I mean, there were a lot of them were floating. I hate to say that, but like, you know, maybe. Uh, I, I, of course, people went down with the ship, but like, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, so my first, then we get into the flashback. Yes. Well, first, it's really it's Gloria Stewart. She was nominated for an Oscar for that, um, and she you know she's the little old lady. And I thought it was really funny. She brought her dog and these pictures and Love all it. that. Yep. And um, uh, some of her line readings I thought were fine. Like it's a little too narrative, really. Mm-hmm. I don't. And also, one thing from a middle aged lens is all they want to know is where is the mother effing necklace, mm-hmm. and she is telling them. Her trip on the Titanic, minute by minute, mm-hmm. by blessed minute. She is telling them the backstory of her and mother. And it took easily four and a half hours. <laughs> She's telling but them But I think back- I, I kind of took that as just like, all right, this is an old lady who's not used to being listened to. And yeah. she's taking full advantage. advantage of this. Yeah. And I guess, in short, because there's also skepticism that she's even who she is. Mm-hmm. Like that guy with the beard's like, oh, come on, she's just a crazy former actress. Because she that's revealed that she actually went into acting, mm-hmm. um, Rose. Uh, Rose da- Dawson. So um, then we get into the flashback and, oh boy. Fabrizio! Uh, I can see the Statue of Liberty already with yeah. my pepperoni pizza. I mean, that was, that was a lot. That Every was a lot. time he spoke, that I was busted out laughing. I know, this poor guy, like, all right, he was trying to make his, his most... He reminded me of like Tom Cruise and the Outsiders when he was just oh. like trying to eat up every oh, minute of scene he yeah. was in. Yeah, super obnoxious. Yeah. Um, I forgot that that King of the World statement is when he's basically behind Fabrizio. Yeah, and it's the two of them on the the front. Right, of the they ship. always show him with. I Kate. always thought yeah. it was. I always thought it was Kate or him alone. Or him alone. Him yeah. alone. Yeah, and like, um, and so it's just funny because I was like, oh, I don't remember that at all. Like he's like standing <laughs> up with his like. I mean, you know, in a in a pose that yeah, some could have some yeah. have some fun with. Um. I really, uh, okay. Wait a minute, I have to read this. Read this note because okay. it's a compliment. It's a positive and a negative, and I want to word this right. Like the suicide moment. I think Kate Winslet looks drop dead gorgeous, mm-hmm. even though she is frantic and stressed. I think it's the most beautiful she looks in this movie. Mm-hmm. And. I will say, though, to your earlier point, I think that scene is the fakest looking scene. Uh-huh. It truly just looks like they're on a soundstage. Yeah. There's not enough wind. There's a there's lot, not enough yeah, there's noise. There's a lot wrong with that. Yeah. Right? Did you feel that? Yeah. I, and Because this is a pivotal part of the movie. I thought it would look convincing when she looks down at the water. Mm-hmm. But there's, like, no wind. There's, um, and I know, and I know that they talk about that, that there's, oh, not enough wind. We won't see an iceberg with the ripples. And I get it, but right. it also well, there's a looks... lot of conversation that was very convenient to the movie, which I noticed this time around, but yes, <laughs> that was part of, that was one of it. But I will but... say the acting is quite cute. I think this is like a funny, meet cute moment in a movie. I agree. Um, and you know, even though it's a suicide attempt, but I think I liked it and then I hated it. Because we talk about this a lot, Christina. All she had to say is, no, he just saved me. I was slipping. But no, she waits till he's in handcuffs. She waits till yep. her fiancé shows up mm-hmm. to help him. It's like, I don't understand he why saved, that wasn't. Yep. He saved your life. And you're... It's not, it wasn't even a frantic moment. They were just calm. Yeah. They were just talking. Yeah. Like, yeah, I agree. I have that note as well. Like, why didn't she say something him. earlier? Yeah, they cuffed him. Just You're say, wondering. he saved my life. He yeah. just saved like, my no, life. No, he helped me. I slipped. That's all. No. I slipped. That's not even a lie. She doesn't have to say, I was going to kill myself and he saved me. She's like, I slipped and almost yeah. fell and he, and he was he just rescued me. I, yeah. But she really waited to the last minute, and which, which, which would only piss off her fiancé, played by Billy Zane. Yeah. Hockley is his name. Um, Cal. Cal Hockley. Cal. Um, I did laugh a lot. I did laugh a lot because, oh God, she's like, I guess it's later on. She says, 
ooh, you do get around for a poor... And she was going to say for a poor person. Mm-hmm. And she's like, for per- a person of limited means. <laughs> um, which we find out she is one as well. Yes. The father, her father died and the money is run out. He left them nothing but debt. And um, the mother has really been coaching her to get with Billy Zane's character because he is lo- has very wealthy. And the big line that she has, and I think she, that's a great performance. I was just going to yeah. say that. Yes, Francis I really appreciated that performance. Fisher. You can see how, like, desperate she is. Yep, she's, like, tightly wound, very anxious, but trying to hide it under her etiquette, mm-hmm. hanging out with countesses when she knows that this woman that shooks down on Molly Brown... Uh, it has more money than her. Mm-hmm. But she's, like, trying to distance herself and be this sort of um, upper echelon, even though there's nothing to really back it up anymore. Right. But I thought she was great. When she says, and it's so chilling, and I remember that watching that in the movie when she says, do you want me, to, do you want to see me as a seamstress? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh I love, like, even Kate's performance in that scene was really good. You know, you could see she, she was... She was torn. She's like, I want to. That's right. I don't want to marry this guy, but now I feel super guilty, and I feel like this big responsibility. So yeah, I really like. I really loved that scene. I really did. I hated it back then. I remember being like, this "What a cool bitch!" Girl. What a, and the mother. And the mother. Yeah, was a the bitch. mother was a total bitch. But, but now, now like, I'm like, I get it. <laughs> I'm like, I understand that. Yeah. Like she's. They have nothing. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, you know, it, you know. Of course, they still dress the part, but yeah, yeah, they were left very desperate. And then yeah. Anyway, all that to say, I do, a consistent note I have in this is, oh my God, Kate Winslet's so good in this. Yeah. I really I, like I, her too. I have i don't know why it hits me different now, but I think she, just because I've seen a lot of good acting and bad acting, but it's like, wow, she is really, really good. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like he's not that great. Okay. I didn't really. Do you explain. I mean, maybe not, not, I mean, I didn't, not bad, but he just sort of just shows up. Like, I feel like he's just sort of like. He's Leonardo DiCaprio in a movie. I didn't feel like his performance was riveting at, in, in any way. Mm-hmm. He wasn't nominated for an Oscar. Okay. I will say, though, I remember vividly Gene Siskel saying that not... Because a lot of people were. This movie received 14 Oscar nominations at 111. Mm-hmm. At the time, it was the most Oscar nominations ever. It tied with... Um, well, sorry. It tied with All About Eve. But um, the... But I think the thing, like, I remember Gene Siskel, Siskel saying that not nominating Leonardo DiCaprio is, like, not nominating uh, for Titanic, is not, like, not nominating Clark Gable for Gone with the Wind. He is such a major part of the movie. But just because you're a major part of the movie doesn't mean you are earning an acting nomination. I'm not saying... Do you know what I mean, though? Like, just because yeah. you're there doesn't mean you're entitled to this nomination. Yeah. What, what, give me a scene where you're, like... I didn't feel like he rose to the occasion. Oh, no rose. no pun intended. If you only knew. I'll I just, yeah, I just didn't feel like it was spect- as a, it was a spectacular performance. I thought it was okay, yeah. but I thought it was not worthy of a nomination. Yeah. I just felt like it was an okay performance. Yeah. Like, let's think about it this way, Brian. If Jesus. nobody else, no, 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 I'm just asking you a question as I'm pointing to you. If nobody else was nominated, would you be like, oh, you know, Leonardo really deserved a nomination. Oh, one thousand percent, no. No. So why should he be nominated just because everybody else was? Yeah, he I'm needs simply to earn saying that. what, what, Not just what showing an up. esteemed film critic said at the time of this film. Well, that's all. He's it's a little dead historic. Now. You know when he died? He died on my birthday. I know. Oh my god. I know. And for those listeners who don't know, like you loved him. I love Siskel and Ebert. Mostly, I met them. I met them once. Siskel. Well, he was rude to me. He was rude to me. You know, I met him. In uh, Disney MGM Studios, and I was a tour guide there mm-hmm. for college. And um, did you run up? And to I him? did. I saw him, and I was like, "Let me just slow my walk, and we'll accidentally, on purpose, bump into each other." Yes, that must have been really subtle. And I was sort of the way I was like, "Hi," he was, "Excuse me," and walked right by. He's gigantically. I remember him being gigantically tall. Um, yeah, he seems tall. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, but. Anyway, but then, yeah, the Sicily fact that he break. died on your birthday was really I summer. loved them so much. Okay, so... Um, they're, like, Leonardo, it's... they're kind of like us. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Oh, God. Um, I did say Kate Winslet is so cute with the... Uh, when they're having that conversation 
and he's like, he's really kind of convincing her to take this chance. And I, and not in defense of his performance, I understand, I really do understand what you're saying, but he doesn't know his, his life view mm -hmm. is day to day. I go where I'm going to go. I yep. don't even know. So it would be weird if he was too profound, if he was too invested. He doesn't know the ship is going to sink. He doesn't know all these things. So right. I did love, I love the scene where he's talking to Rose and he's talking about, oh, we'll just drink beer. We'll go here and drink beer and we'll ride, ride a horse. But none of that, you know, side saddle stuff. And she's yeah, like, no. one leg on each side? Like, you know, but she was so <laughs> cute in that. And I was like, oh my God. And here's the thing. Because I have this note later on, but since we're talking so pointedly about them right now. Yes. I still, years and years later, I still don't think they have great chemistry. But mm -hmm. I really think Kate Winslet does an amazing job of being in love with him. Does that oh, make sense? Okay, yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't yes. think they have great chemistry, but I think she does a great job of, of that's, being in love. That's pretty that's pretty much my point. Like that Oh Kate, how no. convenient. No, I mean you're just you're proving my point. Like she is why the relationship the relationship yeah. is somewhat believable because you believe that she is in love. Yeah. He doesn't bring a whole lot to the table. And I'm not talking about Jack the character. You're not talking about the character. I'm Jack Dawson, but... I like I liked the the character. I liked the conversations. I understood I understand what you're saying about him not really having that like you know, there's nothing at stake for him if he just does what he wants to do. He doesn't get that there's a lot at stake for her if she just does something that is not expected. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like yep. she he I get that. I really get that. Um but it's, yeah, it's his performance. It's not Jack Dawson's character. Okay. Um, um, I will say, like, the dancing below the deck scene, was, yeah. was it seemed really fun, but it didn't it seem, like, really smelly? Like, I felt like the whole time, oh, I'm God, like, it when, seemed super smelly. When she gets the beer splashed on her. Everything uh, is sticky. sticky. And, yeah. yeah. But it, it was fun. I will say that's a middle aged lens thing. I remember watching that scene being like, oh my god, this scene is so long. Yes. But this time around, yes! I thought it was super fun. Yes, I agree. I thought yeah. it was really, really long. Yeah. But this time I thought it looked fun. Yeah. I'm like, that'd be so fun. And I could feel it from her. Why do you think that is that we had that same reaction? Because here's my thought is almost like because we're older now, yeah. we've had sophisticated dining experiences yes. and then we've had the let's hang out in the basement and play games and drink yes and i think we know where which, the fun is we you know, know where the fun is <laughs> if, if given the choice we know where we're going we're going down below deck we are going below deck in the smelly stinky sticky area yeah. because that is a fun it place. definitely you're absolutely right because there's no ventilation it doesn't leave no, any ventilation it just down seemed there. like yeah. I mean, let's think i mean let's face it these people are are not wealthy they may not have Bathed. things like <laughs> Soap and deodorant. Running water. And actually, back then, did they have deodorant back then? I don't oh, know. Oh, God, I don't even know. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I just, I was like, this looks really fun. Yeah. I, uh, oh, but uh, I can't forget this line. Good old Fabrizio. Oh, jeez. It's okay. If I... <laughs> okay. Let me, let me Wait, did he get nominated? <laughs> it's, it's okay if I put my hand to here. Oh, my God. And I was like, you know what? At least he's asking for consent. At yes. least he's asking for consent. That's, about, but, that's like wow. way ahead of time. Woo. Way ahead of and, time. And um, I loved, I did love the dinner scene with, um, you know, there's a lot going on in that, right? And yep. I, is that the same scene that Molly, uh, Kathy Bates plays Molly, or, or Margaret Brown, or the unsinkable Molly Brown, when Cal is saying a couple of like, is that the same dinner where he says something a little like, you love, we'll have two lambs, please. You love lamb, don't you? That and was a different, that was not, was he was dinner? not, he was not at that dinner. He, that was when he was sitting, um, they were, yeah, they were, we, wait. Wait. Was it? Because she said, oh, you're going to cut a meal for you, her right. too, Cal? Is that the same dinner that, that Jack was at? I was thinking it was different, but. Maybe, maybe it's different. I thought, I think it might have been different. So maybe know. it's different, but I did love the fact that Jack, the yeah. character, like basically he, he did his thing and he won some people over, but not everyone. Yes. And I'm like, that's believable. Yeah. Cause it's like, we've seen so many movies where like there, this unexpected, like fish out of water character mm -hmm. charms everybody. And that, 
you kind of it's or the opposite where yeah. he embarrasses himself. But, but in did real you notice life, the oh? people. I'm sorry, you can finish. Oh, second. but in real life, you it's one. You, typically, it's a mix. You're not yeah. gonna you know you're not gonna charm everyone. You're not gonna annoy everyone. But did you notice the people who were charmed are the people who probably don't have a lot of money? It's the people who like worked on the ship. It was like the captain and you know that. That guy. The guy that liked him the most was that moneyed guy, right? Wasn't he the guy? The oh, the guy, yeah, yeah, the like oldest the, guy. Yeah, the bigger guy. And then Molly, um, yeah, the, you know. Yeah, she, I mean, she, she, but yeah, she, she liked, didn't um, have money. Rose. Right, Rose. Yeah, obviously. So it seemed like the ones who kind who were a little bit more open-minded. Yes, open-minded. Yes. Yeah, like the count. Like, and I did think there were so many beautiful costumes and the makeup, and it just looked like so, like, Lush, like everything, yes, like everything really beautifully lush. lit. Everything, the whole movie, like those scenes are just so well done. Yes, um, um, did you notice in church their singing was when it was like the next day, and yeah. he wants to talk to Rose, and then in church, did you hear the lyrics that she was singing? No, those in peril on the sea. Oh yeah, like that's interesting. Yeah, but I actually have my subtitles on. Oh, and it nice. did say that. I forgot yeah. about that. But what that scene that bothered me, because it's like, why would he run into a church congregation like that? Yeah, I just want to see Rose. It's like, all right, calm down. Just wait outside. Yeah, just wait outside the just, door. Yeah. Just, just sit. Um, calm down. And then we get to, <laughs> I think, where the, uh, where the movie sort of really pushes itself into a direction. Like, mm -hmm. the insane scene where Hockley... Flips the effing table. I don't know. I found that it was like, it felt fake to me. It felt very stagey. And here's why. Etiquette isn't just for women. I think there was an expectation for men as well. Mm -hmm. There are servant. There were servants around them that yeah. they brought. Right. So she is acknowledging. Yes, you're my fiance, and I was out too late, and I'm sorry, and da da da. Just being and, bratty. Yeah. Yeah, just being bratty. But like, she's not being rude in that scene, and she acknowledges, like, you're my, you know, I'm your fiance, and he's, fiance, fiance, and he flips the table over, mm -hmm. freaks out, screams at her, and I'm like, I feel like that is a bit like, not real. I felt I felt the same way this time. I remember the first time I saw it. It was chilling. Very upsetting. Yeah, I did not like that at all. Yeah, very like jarring. Yeah. Uh, this time, I, I maybe I was more braced for it or mm -hmm. something because I remember it coming up and I was a little bit nervous to, for that yeah. scene. I just didn't wasn't thinking I was going to enjoy that, and yeah, it didn't seem quite. Uh, yeah, it seemed a little bit out of place. Mm -hmm. A little out of place. I did appreciate her helping. The, um, you know, her, yes, her clean it up. maid yeah. or yeah. help. That felt a lot real. Again, it's her yeah. acting. Right. Like, she was visibly upset. She's trying she's trying to hold it together. But she's like... And it was very much like that after effect thing that happens in real life. When you are in a scary situation and it's not until afterwards, like, you start, like... Oh Catching your breath. Oh, my God. And, yeah. What just happened? And, like, yeah. then you start, like, reacting to it. Yeah. I felt like that was what was happening. In yeah, you scene. got her fright. You got her embarrassment. I think maybe it's a little bit with what what happened with the with the mom character with um, Rose's mother because maybe it would have been good to see Cal at a cigar and whiskey table being like, "Oh, Cal, you don't even know where your wife is, you know, where your fiance is. Oh, see who wears the pants." Like, yes, like you, that just because this scene is so nuts to me. And similarly with the gun, when he's running around in the water with the gun, yeah, it's like, the come gun. on, how yep, insane yep. are you? I mean, like, we already know he's a bad guy. He's super obnoxious. He's he's wealthy. He's conceited. He orders for her. He minimizes her. We get it. I right. don't know if you have to necessarily have to make him a monster, but you well, can see... Well, it seemed see unrealistic when they did that. But yeah. if there was a scene with Cal and the guys, and they're like... Um, oh, you're the one you can't control their fiance, and all the guys start laughing at him. Not that, not that I want sympathy but for there's, Cal. There's the motivation for him. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, oh. there's the motivation for him to lash out at his wife. Because otherwise, the, the the sense of entitlement exists in his head, right? Mm -hmm. But if you saw this play out in like a societal scene, then you're like, oh God, he is unraveling. He's had enough. 
Yeah, and the thing is, too, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I know he belittled her or whatever, mm-hmm. right? But for the most part, he's kind of nice to her. Like, he buys her beautiful jewelry, and mm-hmm. he, I think he has, like, I felt a little bit of empathy for him this time around, which is bizarre to me because mm-hmm. I didn't like him at all This the pre- yeah. when I watched it before. I felt a little bit of empathy for him because he's doing his best. Like, I do think it's just who he is. He's kind of a jerk. I, I felt like if they had gotten married, yeah. I think he would have softened. He, they, I think it would have been okay. Like, I don't think he would have kept up this because right now it's like, it's his first kind of experience with a fiance or, you mm-hmm. know, owning a wife or whatever it happens to be. Like, I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know, if given the chance, he might have been okay. He also doesn't realize that she really is only in this for the money and that she's being right. put up. I mean, she's being put up to do this by her mother. He's kind of the victim here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he just wasn't quite the, vic- the the villain until like I mean, and again, like near the end with the with the freaking gun and like I mean, yeah. nobody's yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. it was just like with the shooting and all that. Like that's not him, and maybe that was part of like the craziness that was happening. Of but, course, I also yeah. wondered, and I and I kept thinking about this, like were the if the scenes had been flipped because right after that scene is the scene we were talking about earlier where the mom is tightening her corset, talking about how they don't have any money. Mm-hmm. And I did wonder, I was like, oh, I wonder if, the, if I wonder if they switch those scenes where he, where like, she is setting, she's like, basically like, what if, she, and I'm just kind of playing this out in my mind. I was like, I wonder if that would have been more interesting, like more desperate in a way. Like, so she goes to the party, she parties all night long. Yeah. Her mom is, she's like, oh God, she's like hung over. Yeah. She didn't come home last night. And then she's getting all primmed up to have this nice brunch breakfast with her fiance all Mm -hmm. dressed up and then so she so then the audience knows oh she has to make this fucking work and then she sits down with this monster who freaks out and flips the Ah. table and then it's like oh shit and i and i have to make this work and he's a monster i I like that i I kind of felt like the scenes were flipped i I don't know i thought it would have been stronger for both scenes sure yes like what are you doing because all she really did like, if those scenes were flipped, all she really did was have fun. She had fun. Right. She was left at the table. She went out and had fun. So it's like, and the mother's like, you can't have fun. This, you you need to make the money and, you know, doing all this mm-hmm. stuff. And then the psychopath happens. Have and fun then she's, after get married. And you realize how, <laughs> and you realize how screwed she is. Yes. Because she doesn't even love this guy. Right. And this is her life now. And it's like, I think it would have been a stronger sequence of events um, for the Rose character if those scenes were yes. flipped. I think you're right. I definitely I think you're, you're Thank absolutely you. right. I love the line when Rose's... Mo- what is her name? Do we know her name? Rose's she, mother? So when Frances... Know, we, we Frances keep, Fisher is the actress and she is so good. so good in this. Did she get nominated? I don't... Shit, my phone is recording. I don't even oh, know. Oh, I'll look it up. Yeah, look it up. But um, I remember... She, I think she was involved with Clint Eastwood for a long time. Oh, Do you remember really? that? I think she was. Don't quote me. But, um... Uh, Francis... Oh, Ruth. Ruth. Ruth is her name. Okay. So, can you check if she was... I'm gonna look at her ...nominated name. for... Francis... Titanic. Tisha. Um, so oh, she say, was in... She was in The Guiding Light. I didn't realize uh, that. I think she was... I think she was married to Clint Eastwood for a while. At least they were together for a while. Francis Fisher. Um, so yeah, so there's a great line where... Uh, Ruth is talking about planning this wedding, okay? And she's talking to the Countess, Mm -hmm. and this is when Molly Brown enters the room, and Ruth says, oh, and then there's the hideous bridesmaid dresses. Oh, let me tell you what an odyssey that has been. (laughs) I'm going to say that in real life. Let me tell you what an odyssey that has been. I love it. Oh my it. god, I, I love, love that it. line. I love that line. Um, Did so she? Screen Actors Guild Award for what? Um, for Titanic, but that's the group, right? The group yeah, one? but it's yeah. not no no um, nomination, no ac- Academy. She was great in this, but so um, Christina, my next note: one hour and nineteen minutes in, I believe this is. The shot that made Leo in 
international, timeless movie star really? for the rest of his life. Really? It's when he goes to the front of the boat, yeah. and the sun is setting, and the wind is blowing his hair, mm -hmm. and he's just looking at a, at a little angle. <laughs> he is... I do not find him very attractive. I really don't. He is drop-dead gorgeous in that little moment. And as the camera pans, you see that Rose is standing behind him. And that right. leads into the, I'm flying, Jack! That leads to all that. But one hour, 19 minutes, that is the scene. I think that they use that scene in the trailer. They use that scene in the yeah. music video. And I'm telling you, he is a movie star wow. in that moment. Yeah. Interesting. I feel like so many movie stars have that moment on screen when they're like, "Sure, yeah," you know, like this is that this is that moment. The yep. star, yep. yeah, but it was yep. so good. That, that's funny. And the I mean, the sunset was really nice. And was that one of the scenes that the, the blue the green screen bothered you? Uh, yeah, and he, I almost like almost all the times when he, when they're out on the deck. Really, like, it just seemed like just the background was. Do you watch was it on, just two phase? Watch it on DVD. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What what edition was it? It was, like a it was one of the anniversary. Ones. It wasn't all right. So that's interesting. So I watched yeah. it on. So I have HBO Max, and let me tell you that for basically I think the past year, Titanic has been on HBO Max. And... So I sat down yesterday, which I I don't think I've even said that yet. I watched it yesterday. I sat in yesterday, and it's not there anymore. They dropped it on at the end of November. Oh my so God. I had to buy it oh. for three dollars ninety nine cents. But so I watched it through iTunes or uh, movies, whatever. whatever. It is, yeah. Um, and I didn't feel it. I, there were just a couple of scenes where I'm like, nah, I, I'll allow it. Yeah. But I didn't find it as green screen as you did. And I wonder if it's just the, the print or the cut. It or, might be, yeah. Because yeah. that's happened to us in a couple of movies before. Yeah. Where it seems a little bit more fake. And I typically get it from, get the copies from the library. So um, I will say that scene. I wrote down, I'm like, she almost fell off the ship yesterday. So he makes her climb up and put her arms up. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, literally, <laughs> yesterday, she was dangling from oh the ship. God. I would think there would be a little bit of hesitation on yeah. her part, at least, Yeah. not to climb up. Like, that seemed a bit unrealistic. Oh, my God, that's funny. Um, I have some, I have a good, oh, oh good. I will say... So Matt was watching with me, and he had a really great point. So he goes back to her room, and he sees a very famous Monet. Yeah. How did that survive? What do you mean? The Monet. The sinking of yes. the Titanic? Because if that was the original, mm -hmm. it, we would not know about it today. It would be dead. It would be gone. It would never have reached the surface. Is that... I don't know the history. I don't know if it's true. It was true. supposed. To, well, no, probably not. But yeah. But he well, recognized is, it as Monet, and she was like, "Oh, it's just some French artist. Like it wasn't somebody that anybody knew about." Yet. Right. And he recognized the pic. Like, Matt recognized the picture as a famous picture. So it was just yeah. like sort of a weird thing. Like, well, it obviously, if it was the original, yeah. Then, and it was it perished then we would not know about it today. I am too stupid to comment on this. I don't know much about art and history. So yeah. I don't know what to say. My only thought is, were these things... No, I don't even know. I don't know. It was just a thought. Yeah. Just a thought. I mean, he would obviously know it because he lived in Paris and he was familiar with art. I, I don't know. If, like, Was that really on the Titanic and it when it right. sank? I mean, I don't know. Well, look that up it's for me, would you? Oh, I, I'll do it. Thank I'll you do so it much. today. Um, <laughs> so I have a couple of judgment things. I have a judgment thing right now. My uh, next note. Oh, because my, my next note is a judgment thing. Interesting. Good. Should we say it together? No. Oh it's probably be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be wrong. Mine is that for Rose and Cal, their teeth looked really yellow to me. Oh. That was a big judgment thing. I'm like, ooh. And I don't know if it was the lighting or if it was what they were wearing or, you know, maybe next to the sparkling jewels. I don't know. But I didn't notice it on anybody else. But Rose and Cal, they both had, like, yellowish teeth. What? Yes. Well, they smoked. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, maybe. He smokes cigars and she smokes cigarettes. And that's what her mom kept saying. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Oh, I don't know if James Cameron was like, let's yellow up their teeth a little bit. He, you might be surprised. I think he yeah. spent six months reading over every bio of the of a, oh, the people that were on that that's ship. That's really impressive. Yeah. Like, that's, I, I have a lot of respect for that guy for um, doing that. 
So I, my I mine judgment. is I can't think of a worse idea in Rose's predicament to kiss Jack in plain sight at the oh top of a of a ship and followed immediately by posing naked mm-hmm. for a portrait. That can take a long time. When you know Mr. Lovejoy is spying on you. Yes. I think as far as... I, I honestly felt like she did a lot of this stuff on purpose. To piss him off. Especially the portrait. Because she left it in the safe. Right. For him. Well, with the, the, note. the note. Yeah, yeah. with the note. Yeah. So she's do. I think she purposely did this just to kind of well, to, be that him, rebellious... Well, I think and for him to dump her, really. Because yeah. his mother and her mother was like, you can't... You know, basically end this. You know, yeah, so, so if, if but he if he dumps it, her, yeah. I mean, it's a choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just wrote, then the chase is so odd with Lovejoy. Oh he God. already caught them. Like all he had to do is see them in the elevator. That's that's enough that's for it. him. We caught you. Yeah, that's he it. Go, Then he goes he back. And says, to, what is he going to do? Grab her and grab, handcuff her? Thousand percent. That was my thought. I'm like, why does he keep chasing her? It's like he already sees her with Jack. All he has to do is go back to Cal and say, yep, she's with him again, and they're running around the cruise ship making a fool of you. That's right. Then that would have elevated Cal. Yep. Um, I did say, like, running through the boiler room? Like, no. Yeah. Why are you doing I that? don't think they knew where they were going. No, I know. But then yeah. you see it's a boiler room, you got to keep going? keep running, I know. I mean, that must have been really horrible. Christina, this is a private, this is a personal question. Okay. Um, in the throes of ecstasy, mm-hmm. have you ever slammed your hand? I usually do. So oh, I look. Oh, oh. So I make it a point <laughs> that when I am in, when I'm going to be in ecstasy, making love. Yeah. I make sure I'm near somewhere with a window pane. Yeah. So that when I'm ready to bring it home. Yeah. I throw my hand against yeah. the wall. I mean. Well, I guess the wall would work window, too. Yeah, I've never right. done the wall. Maybe I'll try a wall. Try a wall. But I the yeah. the window. Blam. So, mostly so I can leave my handprint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't do that? No. Weird. Because it reminds me of, like, a horror movie. Like, it's just, it's an odd choice. It seems the, like, yeah, she was... The did, shot did, was she, unusual. Did it go down, like, shh. I think it did, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a horror movie. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what exactly is happening in there? Oh, my God. Um, and it was a small car. They couldn't have found a better car to I do it in? That would seem very I, Well, cramped. she grabbed him. When yeah. he, he was in the front of the car. She pulled oh, him she right pulled through him the back. window. Oh, that was cute. Yeah. That was kind of cute. But, um, yeah, it reminded me a little. You said say anything, right? It reminded me I of did, that yeah. where they're both like shivering and because he was a virgin. Yes. And, yeah. So. Um, and by the way, that game, you could go in the boiler room. You could go see the and cars. And sex? Like. Jesus well, I don't know. I don't, Christian, I don't know, the, I don't know the games you play. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, and in this video game, there yeah. were certain puzzles you had to do, too. Like, that was the whole point of it is to, to solve puzzles to uh, solve this crime before the Titanic sank. And then as it was getting as it was getting closer to the to the end of the game, because you had a certain amount of time to do it in. Yeah, yeah. And it, I did it I played it for weeks. Like it, you could pick up where you left off type of thing. Yeah. At one point the Titanic hits an iceberg. Oh my God. And then that it would, then it gets really exciting. Anyway, sorry I had to throw that in there. Um, did you happen to oh. notice the conversation between the people up on the lookout? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have any binoculars. Oh, I gotta go get my binoculars. A thousand percent. They had a, one pair of binoculars on the ship. And you had one job. That's right. You had one job. Well, but they were equally bad, because the guys in, the, the, guys in the, the, the pole were like, ooh, it's a quiet night, but I smell, I smell snow or ice. What do you say? I smell snow? I smell ice? I smell ice. No. Did he, did he say ice? Ice? He goes, well, remember, with fewer ripples, it's going to be harder to see. Yeah, I have it. all the yeah. little, like, the leading up to oh, okay. it. Calm waters is hard to see. Yeah. It's calm waters. It's hard to see icebergs with no wake. Yeah. And then I don't have any binoculars. Like, they you were know really it's hard to, to see. Go get your binoculars. Yeah. God so it's their it. fault. Um, a colorful bit of dialogue here. Cal says to Rose, a whore with a gutter rat. Oh. And she says, I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Did you like that dialogue? Um, that it was, was dramatic. A, that was well, dramatic. What I did love in this, and I, this, I'll tell you this when I saw this movie the first time, and even the second time, I forgot about the spitting 
scene. So oh. when she spits at him, I was like, oh my God, I remember it. She knows how to spit. Yeah, that's right. So then the ship hits an iceberg. Yes, it does. And Spoil- then... Oh, spoiler alert. Shit, oh, yeah. I should have said that. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it being so cool when it happened and so scary yeah. when it happened the first time. This time it looked a little bit fake to me. I don't know. How'd you feel about the, the graphics in it? I'm going to be honest. I thought it was cool. I did think... It, I thought it looked really good. I actually really liked when the ice falls on the deck. That, I you love know, Jack that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty cool. You know, because you're really, like, you're, like, right there. You're like, oh, but shit. I think... But because... What I appreciate is that because we saw in the in the beginning of the film when they play what happened to the boat on that computer... I right? loved that they did oh. that ahead of time. Yeah, me too. I was so happy that they, because Be- it made you realize, like, it's like, okay, good. I know what's going to happen. Well, you know what's going to happen, <laughs> and you know how, how truly. And how it works, yeah. Right. And how effed that ship is if they hit an iceberg, and how the compartments yeah. fill up, but not the sixth compartment. But Victor Garber, we haven't mentioned him. He's great. Um, I like love him. I do love Victor Garber. Victor Garber. I, I, I do love him. Little hearts around his name um, for you. But, no, I just loved him on Alias. He was so good. So, but, it, yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, I don't think it looked. I mean, I don't think it looked fake to me. You I, know what it is? It didn't look as good as well, I remembered it to be. Well, on a giant, Maybe that's what like you're was. saying, a you giant know, screen in a movie was, theater yeah. with the sound. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. The whole story with him planting the thingy on him and yeah. all that. I mean, it was fine. I will say, like, being handcuffed in that room, like, I remember feeling that dread. Like, yeah. all of a sudden he sees the water coming in. Yeah. It was terrifying. He yeah. did some good acting in that. I will give him that. Yeah. Not not Academy Award. Do you remember? So do you remember this though? When um, so there's two things that happen in that room when he said when Rose finally finds him, and I remember the audience Oof. being like, like you could feel. Do you remember that? Like, I felt so like that collective tension. thing. Yeah. And like yeah. when Rose finds him, it's like, oh my god, thank God. And then, uh, but when she, he's like, we need help, Rose, which is yeah. the worst idea ever. And then she runs out. And I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about this part. And then he goes, I'll wait here. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that, I, I think I wrote that down too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's something else because the big that was a, so the then she comes back with an axe. And I actually love I love that how she like no one's helping her. The guy's yes. like, you know, whatever. He leaves, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then she she smashes the glass, takes the axe, and he goes, All right, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's practice. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hit that thing. And I hit it again. Exactly yeah, I love that. Like, I really love the that. The audience too. Busted out laughing. I'll never forget those lines I live. Because it's a really like terrifying sequence with the sinking yeah, and ship. The, the movement yeah. and the water and oh my god, yeah. everything. It but so she great. does it, she she smashes it, she frees him. Um the and, so- I have um what was it? Oh, just yeah, that, that whole that whole when they're down there with the water, it just is really just one terrifying thing after another. Yeah. Um the water getting higher, and they have to go. They're like they're literally like climbing on the ceilings, they, and it's so cold. You can see how cold it mm-hmm. is. And she has a stupid dress on. Yeah. And oh my god, that and was then, a note. Oh, yeah, god. that was a note where I'm like, just rip your dress, rip your, rip your oh dress. My oh my god, just go down to your undies and just like swim. Oh, like god. that dress is weighing her down. The coat's weighing her down. And then you have the um, the sounds of the ship. Yeah, creaking. So creaky. And, and then, you, oh my God. It was just, oh my yeah. God. It was so, it's so well done. So well done. So much tension. And then they have the key, the, all the, then they find the people that, I, I don't know where, this might have been a different part of the movie, but they're trying to get up. And then all the, the, the you know, the poor people are trying to get up and uh, they have the, the doors are yeah. locked. And the guy's like, no, no, no. And oh my God. And then he drops, they drop the keys. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. It was just so much tension, but so, so, so good. Uh, they built a 17 million gallon water tank oh to God. reenact sinking of the, the wow. ship. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, at one point I wrote, take the life vests, Rose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it was an area, like, I don't know. It was just something. Yeah. Um... I did, I appreciated the film, like, n- subtle in some not-so-subtle ways. Like, when Rose says, I could not but notice you don't have enough boats. And when they, it, yes. only because, he's like, oh, you don't miss the thing, Rose. But then when you find out they don't didn't do it because 
they didn't like the look of it. Yeah. And it took up a little too much room. I'm like, yep. wow. Yeah, and you could tell it was just like, yeah, they didn't really didn't like want, the They didn't like that idea. It. Yeah. Um, well, I liked it, the callback to it when he's like, remember what we talked, talked about, about Rose, with the right. Rose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was terrifying. That was terrifying. Um, how about when, do you catch this? I don't mean to laugh, but there are some, there are some funny... Only because the terror is so in your face yes. that you're almost looking for some comic relief. And you needed it. Yeah, you needed a little bit of something. How about when this guy goes, they're hanging, the ship is now up, right? Yes. And they're hanging, and this man turns and he says, hang on, Miss Trudy. She instantly lets go. Yeah. Like, it's like not even a millisecond. He's like, hang on, Miss Trudy. Bing. And she just zooms down. Oh, my God. That was horrible. And then, of oh course, God, the uh, the poor bastard who's hanging on the other side of the ship, and he lets go to land in the water and hits the propeller. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, that was god. horrible. I mean, it's just so bleak that you almost have to laugh. Like, yeah. I was laughing, but it doesn't mean I thought it was poorly done. Right. Or in bad taste. I think it's like you're just looking for, like, like holy shit, this is dire. That was it, you yeah. Like, that was hang it. on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's exactly it. Oh, and then the ship pulling them down, which probably would have pulled them down a lot deeper, to be yes. honest. But at least they acknowledged the science of that. Yeah. Um, I will say, I have a, a note even before yeah. all that. When she gets in the boat, yeah. they finally get her, she gets in the boat, and then she crawls out of the boat to be with Jack. Yeah. Can you be more stupid? What? Is that the most, the dumbest thing you've ever seen? No. no. What do you think is, what is she going to have, what is she going to do? Grab save him? Save him. How is she going to save him? It's the Titanic, it's going down. He's going to die, most likely, because he's a boy, right? Women yeah. and children first. Yeah. She is going to either she's, she'd rather die with this man. Than you jump, live. I jump. Look at her life, Christina. No, I didn't like it. She and then she comes out and he's like, "Rose, you're so stupid. stupid. Why would you yeah. let this happen?" And I wrote, "No truer words were ever spoken. Like you are so stupid, so stupid." Wow. She that, was gonna die. I'm she was feeling, going to. I'm feeling die. a an Instagram. Uh, poll. What is on. the best case scenario that's going to come out of this? Is They're Rose, both going to die Rose together on the, bo- on the boat. That's it. Look at her life. What does she have to save herself for? He sh- he inspired her to do all this other stuff. Now she's she can... It's like the end of the movie, right? Yeah. So if that's the case, why yeah. didn't she just jump in with him and say, fuck it. You guys... You know what? Let's just die together. And, that's and, my question later, Christina. Okay, then. All right, then. Because my thought was when she jumps back on the ship... They don't know they're on the Titanic for God's sake. Do you know what I mean? Meaning they don't know what they don't know that the she everyone knows dies. how many boats there are. Yes, she knows. She's looking around and seeing the crazy may- mayhem. He saved her life. She wants to save his life. She knows. But how is she going to save his life? To give him a fighting chance, I guess. I don't By know. By being next to her? Now Now there's two people he has to it's save. It's love, Christina. No, now there's two people. She did not give him any extra help. She, she is powerless to help him. She freed him. From the from the handcuffs, right at the yeah right oh yeah. yeah so that's she did her job she saved his life so now it's her turn to to be saved yeah and she's watching oh. him yeah. from the boat and she decides to she's she decides to get out of the boat to be with him for what reason I guess to, you're she's right she's not you know gonna what? save him she can't fine save him. so it's to to die with him to die with him but Stupid. that's why my leader note is more about so they should have just jumped right off of the boat right then and there yeah yeah I guess so that's it there's, there's hey listen so that's young it. young love I'd rather make, die with you than live without you young love makes you do crazy things yeah I mean especially but we met he, him yesterday he told you met him yesterday you are a monster and you're gonna throw away your whole life he told her literally you are not going to die tonight. You're not going to die tonight. You're and gonna he's what, the all-knowing full... oracle? If he knew that, why She they... loved him enough to live. But she didn't. That was just a coincidence that she ended up living. She, liked, she, she loved him enough not to live. She jumped off of it to blow the whistle, Christina. He inspired her to live. He inspired her for her heart to go on. Jesus Christ. Speaking of... Oh, yes, we should probably... 
I think this episode is going to be three hours and 15 minutes. It's 500, five hours. And oh my God. Yeah, the movie's five hours long. So, Patreon yeah. this week. So, I'm not one to brag. Patreon.com slash old roommates. You got to check it out, Brian. What do you have for us this so, week? Before COVID, before all the magic of COVID, um, I got tickets to see Celine Dion um, at <laughs> TD, what's it called in Boston? TD Noir? Wait. The, the venue. Isn't it TD Garden? Garden, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was Carl's birthday. Carl's not a Celine Dion fan, but that's just happened to be when she was performing. And I did splurge because I'm like, well, if I'm dragging Carl to see Celine Dion on his birthday, I want to get good seats. I got 10th row center. Amazing. How much I spent is irrelevant. <laughs> but it was a show for the ages. It ended with her singing, of course, My Heart Will Go On. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, that even that song, it's really worth Googling how successful that song was. It was number one. I don't even know how many countries oh at the gosh. same time as the number one song. And the it truly in the world. And that is a pretty it's a rare beautiful song. thing. It's it's gorgeous. So uh, but I will put that video up, but I'm also gonna put up some other videos from that concert. Yeah, Because it's like she's just, Celine Dion. I mean, she's just amazing. She so, is. Yeah. She's really, really amazing. All right, so now Christina, can we get to where the ship sinks and they're floating? Not yet. So there's oh, a couple of okay. uh, little notes I have. But, All right. So I just said, um, Screaming hurry to the man with the keys was not helpful. Ah! <laughs> I just happened to notice that. He was like trying to find the keys. Yeah. Hurry, hurry! I'm like, no, 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 no. You can't, you gotta calm down yeah. and let him find the damn keys. And then what happened? He got, he panicked, he dropped the keys, he left, and that was that. Um, and then the other note I noticed is the captain, where of course he's seeing the ship go down, he's mm-hmm. in a zombie state, like really, really upset. But the one thing that I noticed, this woman, with an infant, mm-hmm. walks up to him. Where should I go? And he walks silently away. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, it's a woman with an infant. Point or something. Isn't it a done deal at that point? No, but she, the he could have given gone. her some kind of hope. I, I don't, don't know. know. I felt bad. Yeah. And then there's one. Well, it's part... also sad for him because he knew better. He was yeah. being forced to make headlines. Yeah, Ismail. he did. It was his fault for sure. Mm. That was powerful when he went in. in oh, like, what a piece oh, of shit. Yeah. Oh, no, the guy. The the, the guy that oh, forced that him. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, God, he jumps. And he, yeah, he's like. He's in the boat. Yeah, well, yeah. he had to live with himself that for the rest yeah. of his life. He probably killed himself. Mm-hmm. Um, Cal did. I was talking about. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I was talking about the captain. He went into the mm. captain's quarters yep. and like all the windows mm-hmm. and everything. And there's one other note that I noticed. So there's all this chaos. Everything is happening. It's it's sinking. There's we know like the bottom of the ship is like mm-hmm. all done. And we see a scene. I, I think this is when um, my heart will go on started okay. playing. And you're seeing all the chaos and everything. And you see the scene with a woman with her two children in the bed. Oh my god. And she's telling them. A bedtime story. Yeah. Knowing damn well that they're all going to die. Mm-hmm. Where on earth did she find a silent place to be? I don't know. I don't either. So that was my note on that. And the elderly couple in bed. That was sad. Yeah. But really beautiful, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked... I did like that. I thought... Like, they're like, I'm not... I'm not going anywhere. We'll just let, you know, be together. I really thought that they're the center of the ship. I'm one but of the would lower. you sit there and, like, wait to drown, though? Like, she what? wanted them to fall asleep. Well, I mean, the water's going to wake you up. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, it, I can't imagine. Like, I think I would do something other than just fall asleep. Like, you're going to, like, I don't know. I don't know. That water is cold. But so it's gonna wake you up immediately. Cause I don't know what I would do. It's hopeless. It is hopeless. Maybe I would. Oh, I would wear drag. I would just do drag. I would like go and drag and then jump on a boat. And I would say. And you probably would have stuff available. Yeah, I always do. Yeah. And I would absolutely say, guys, let's squish together to get more people on the boat. Yes, I'll sit on your lap. Oh my god. My point being is, like, 
I mean, thank God there was at least that sequence with Kathy Bates and Frances yes. Fisher. And she's like, what is wrong with you people? Yeah. Like, they're drowning. Our, it's our men out there. And, like, I, I mean, how devastating that they wouldn't make fucking room and go back. 20 yeah. boats, they were afraid right? They there were, were 20 get... boats. Mm-hmm. Only 20 boats, which is in itself 20 boats yeah. nearby. One boat went back out of 20. But they were afraid they were going to be Tip the boat. tipped over. And probably, they probably, they might, probably might would be. have been. Yeah. But maybe just go close enough to just get one or two. But the guy had the right idea. Yeah. Put the kids and stuff, jump on this boat, we'll bring an empty a empty boat back. Yes. And then, of course, everyone's dead by then. Oh. Terrifying. So, so sad. And the sad. baby. I mean, well, that, how about that one, Christine? Oh, the, my the gosh. The mom holding, floating in the water with her baby, dead so baby. Sad. Oh, my fucking God. I know. It was very effective, that that yeah. stuff. I mean, you just, you really, you really got it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You really I think it affected it. me more now than then. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Well, by then it was like, so it was like three and a half hours later. Well, I know, but I think too, it's like, I think because it's like, it's the spectacle of the movie Titanic. Like it was such a huge movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, people were, like you were saying, people were talking about it for weeks and months before it even opened. And then it's like, you're, it's finally here, you're seeing it all, and it's this big spectacle. Like, I know people that cried in the movie theater, but I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know if it affected me much. But watching it now, I didn't cry, but it hits you differently, it for sure. It hits you, yeah. definitely hits Through you differently. Because you're lens. looking at it more like these are actual people. Right. These are actual people. These are not actors. This isn't a, you know, mm-hmm. this isn't a novel. This is right. a real this is life stuff thing that happened. That happened. Right. Um, insane. Um... Okay, so I did... This hit me differently, too. Um, Rose, and people love making jokes about that scene where she's just floating on the thing, and, you know, they, they tried to have him jump up, too, but it sort of tipped over, but they didn't she was try very hard. selfish. How... So I don't know se- why they couldn't have gone next to each other and laid next to each Not other. Not only that, Christina, but... It doesn't... I mean, it makes no sense. The dialogue is really... is kind of awkward, too, because all... Here's what... Here are... Ro- now... At this point, Jack is in the water yes. with icicles growing on his face. Yes. And she's floating peacefully on this piece of b- wood. Yeah. Here's what Rose says. I'm so cold. And then he's like, kind of giving her this pep talk. Like, you're, gonna, you're not going to die. You're going to be a beautiful old lady in your bed. And then she says, Jack, I can't feel my body. Like, he's in, he's like in the, the water. water dying. So selfish, I'm telling you. So selfish she in never, so many different ways. She never acknowledges that he's in the water. No. It's super weird. I think that's maybe a script problem. But it's like, she's not even saying, like, are you are you freezing? She never asks about let's, him at all. Let's die as one. Like, you know. Right, I mean, she was ready to die. She was yeah. ready to die before. Now yeah. it's now it's okay. She just wants to watch him die. Maybe that's what it was. I well, do you absolutely remember, though. Um, come back. Come back. She's so good in that. Come back. Oh my God. It's so, so. I got good. goosebumps all over again. Like, what fucking happens? Out. I forget what happens. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, oh, the whistle, the whistle. Oh, so good. I remember her saying to Jack, I'll never let go. Mm-hmm. And then she let go. <laughs> well, he died. <laughs> and I mean, his promise is so, only, promise I used is to only laugh about so that. Long. Like, I'll never let go. Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub, glub. Uh, uh, but yeah, I liked that. That was that was very, yeah, very effective. How she couldn't get, she couldn't even scream because she's so cold. Oh my god! But yeah, I'm getting got, chills all over again. It's very yeah. How fucking terrifying! Oh my god! I can't even. And then you see someone. Did you ever get someone... stuck? Did you ever get stuck in an undertow at the beach when you were a little kid? Qu- yeah, quickly. I, yeah, I mean, that yeah. is does, like, that is that, really... just that sensation. Yes. And yep. ima- like being in a, a, like being at the mercy of water, mm-hmm. right? And I was on a white water. This, this is totally just like the Titanic. Um, <laughs> I was on a, <laughs> I was on a white water rafting trip mm-hmm. once, and I fell off the raft with three other people, and we hit a crazy five plus rapid. I'm not one to brag, and I almost died. Oh I was pulled under the water, flapping all around. Did I ever tell the story? You know the story um, though. Yes. Basically, they they had to turn a raft sideways, and they pulled me up because you're supposed to like. By the way, if you ever fall out of a raft, do the turtle. Like, put all all your appendages up. Arms, legs, okay? Because the biggest danger is getting stuck in a rock. Uh, like, a lot of people yes. try and stand. Good. They try and stand, and it doesn't work out. But I, when he went over that, I was like, oh, it's just because they're, you know, they're not good swimmers like me. And so I tried to swim the rapid, 
not successful. So I felt, I went under the water for a while. They pulled me up and I was conscious, but I had hit, been hitting rocks and stuff and they pulled me up and I'm like, oh my God, and I could feel blood all over my face. I tell you that. Oh my God. So I'm like, so I have, and it's not my raft, by the way. This is a raft of strangers on the same trip. Oh, oh no, it's so, ter- so terrifying. And I'm like, I'm like, are you okay? And I'm like, and I lost my paddle and everything. And I'm like, oh my God. You lost I'm, your paddle? And I go, oh my God, I'm bleeding. And I wipe my oh, face. Oh, you did tell me this. And I wipe my face. <laughs> and it is pure boogers. <laughs> like every booger I've ever had in my body was all over my face. Like, because I had had so much water. And then you're it even more me. devastated. So it's embarrassing. Like, I was so blood? cleared out. Oh my God, it was terrifying. Well, but I can't even imagine. I can't imagine being like, that's what I mean. Being at the mercy of water is well, so terrifying. Well, what about terrifying. when we went camping <laughs> and we were walking up these rapids? <laughs> Yeah. And I'm, I'm like trying to climb up, trying to climb up. And Matt, he's like, take my, my hand. hand. This is Matt, uh, my other, my yeah. friend Matt. Naomi's husband. Naomi's yeah. husband. Oh yeah. my God, Naomi, you've been mentioned quite a few oh times. Oh my God. And he reaches and I'm like, I've got it. And he's like, I'll never let go. Right? And then it slips. And I go, all Flying. I see, I slide <laughs> backwards. And I'm just seeing all of my friends getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I have no idea where I'm looking. I mean, it's the water. The water is a powerful thing. It's so thing. scary. It's because it's beautiful and scary. Yeah. So terrifying. That was crazy. I did survive. Oh, my so God. Know. Yeah, good. Spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert. You lived. Um, so. Th- so then, I don't want to, I feel like I'm cutting you off a lot. No, 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 any, no. I'm good. No, any, no, no. I'm okay. good. I'm, I'm right with you. So my next note is... Um, I love that when she hid, I, I, it almost felt like film noir to me. It was like yes. when she pulled the blanket over her head more when she yes. saw Hockley. Uh, I thought that was just so good. Like she is going to fake her death. Yep. Like, oh my God. Amazing. Like it, and again, it's one of those things where it's like, when you're watching it the first time as a younger person, I was like, oh, she's just, she just hates them. Yeah. But it's like, no, this is strategic. Yes. Because this is colder. Like this is like, she doesn't want this life yep, anymore. And to, your, and to your earlier point, just a couple minutes ago, you said, now she can do the, the stuff that she and Jack were talking about. Right. And I think that that, and that, that's what hit it, like, home for me better mm-hmm. as an older person. To be like, Definitely. Yeah, yeah, you're creating a new name for yourself. And she's only 17. She has yeah. plenty of time. Plenty of time to do all this stuff. Good Lord. And yes, I really love that little twist of the ending. Yeah. And um, so then we get to the very end. I mean, yeah. what else do you have? That's my last note. Oh, that's your last note. Okay, so here's my. <gasps> oh, thoughts. I know what you're going to talk about. Oh, the very, me. very, very end. The very, very, very end. So you get back to the old Rose. Yeah. And she gets to the end, and she's looking in, and she drops the stupid in the water necklace yeah. in the water. Yeah. So that to me was the most frustrating part of the whole thing. Like so, so dumb that she had this all her life. And now she's dropping it in the water. I have a much better alternative ending. Let's hear it, Christina. Thank you for asking. So I get why she was holding it. <laughs> I get why she was holding it her whole life. Like, of course, if she revealed that she had it, her identity would be up and all that kind of crap, right? I get that, sort of. But I thought it was very selfish. Again, Rose is being very selfish. Mm-hmm. Throwing this thing in... This is millions of dollars yes. millions of dollars she's throwing in yeah. right to make like what a statement i don't get it so here's my alternative ending i think she should have jumped to her death off of that ship wow so she could die with jack mm-hmm. right yeah. so th- picture it so same scene yeah she walks up no one's around it's in the middle of the night instead of taking this jewel out of her pocket she climbs over. She kind of climbed up already, right? So it brings you back to the very beginning, yeah. brings you back to the first meeting and all this kind of stuff. She's pretty old already. She's like, she was like in her 90s, like late 90s or something. 100, she'll be 101. Yeah, she's yeah, lived her yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. She's done with her life. Yeah. It's all done. She doesn't have much left. Yeah. Climbing over, <laughs> jumps to her death, right? Yeah. So now she can be with Matt. Uh, Matt, oh my God. Oh my God. That is, oh my God. Matt is the name of Christina's husband, everyone. Well, maybe I'm just thinking true love. So of course, I think of Matt. Oh my God, what? Because quite the slip. Keep, keep so anyway, going. Yeah. So oh, she thinks slip. of 
Jack. <laughs> she jumps. I jump. You jump. Yeah. It brings it all the way yeah. back, right? She's going to die with him. The souls will be together forever. Then you see the granddaughter. Yeah. So then it pans to the room. So yeah. this is still similar yeah. scenes, right? Yeah. Pans to the room. You see all of the pictures of everything that she's done. So you get that same effect. Yeah. And then on her bed is a box with a note. So basically a suicide note. The granddaughter walks in, mm-hmm. sees that, opens up the box, and there's the jewel. Heart that of the she's ocean. the heart of the ocean. Yeah. That she is now leaving to her granddaughter. Yeah. So now her granddaughter Can has the money. Right. She'll be rich beyond, beyond her, her means. And uh, well, yeah, and also not only that, she was taking care of her. Right. Like being, being a caretaker is tough. It's a lot of work. It sure is. It is selfish. I never understood. I mean, it's like, you know, she does say, uh, I've never told anyone that story before. This is the first time I've talked about this. Yeah. So now that chapter is closed. Um, I don't know about killing herself only because two things. One, that water is fucking freezing. Two. She knows how cold it is. She's ready to live. A, she's two, ready to be with Jack. And then two. Uh, Jack does say, you're going to die an old woman in a warm bed. And I well, think she's trying to honor that promise. Jesus. She knew him for a day. Love is love, Christina. What about her husband that she married and had children with? Does that mean nothing? I don't know. No, I think it would have been a better ending if she just, like, jumped. And you don't have to see, like, her dying in the like water. But, in the you water. know, you can see the slow... I could picture, it, like, a slow motion of her dr- jumping and yeah. her being happy and... You know, maybe yeah. she turns, maybe she morphs into young Rose, oh. and then she hits the water, and then they're, yeah, and right, then, and then right? Jack, and then Jack's there. And Jack, yeah. Sure. So now the very, 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 very end. And then they could, that would make more sense, the very, very, very end. So what do you think happens? Do you think she died? Yeah, I think when she's in the bed, I think she's dead. Dead, okay. Yeah, definitely. So, um, so Kate Winslet and Gloria Stewart, who play Rose at different times in their life, they both believe she died in her sleep, but Cameron... Uh, James Cameron said, um, it's really up to the viewer. It was, I think the thing is, um, because here's my thought on that. I was like, oh, she dies. What's the first line of, um, my heart will go on. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. That is how I know you go on. And it. It's, I'm talking it's seconds from when she sees him to the lyrics start. Yeah. And so you're thinking it's I'm a thinking dream. maybe she doesn't, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just a dream. Maybe she dreams about him every it's night. It's kind of a coincidence. I mean, they're literally like, he's like, they're basically over his grave right now. Uh, we don't know. Maybe she dreams of him every night. Like they, their love is just beyond measure. It's a nice thing, th- thing to think about. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the fact that she's dead. <laughs> So, here are my notes. The most expensive film ever made, $200 million, which... Still? um, Yes, I believe so, yes. And I'll tell you, so when you average it out, it is over a million dollars a minute. What? Yeah, it's crazy. It's a million dollars a minute, if you 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 consider that. um, See, the first film to ever make over a billion dollars, it went on to make $2.2 billion, um, and 14 Oscar nominations, it won 11, um, it was, it remained the highest grossing film until Avatar oh, came out. Oh, Avatar. I, I was just like, thinking, I, I was just going through my mind, like, what? Which is also he James, it. which is also James Cameron, yeah. 2010. Um, let's see. That seems weird to me. I feel like Avatar is such a different type of movie that it wouldn't have the same... I didn't like Avatar. I never saw it. Oh, it's not. It's just weird. It's not good. I don't. It, know. I that didn't feels like, it. like Titanic has a bigger, broader reach. Yeah, which would make it's you know, more. I think it's more universally. It. So it yeah, seems weird that Avatar would have. Yeah. You know. Original choice for Jack Dawson. Brad Pitt. Close, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh my God, that would be an interesting choice. It would have been strange because I feel like Matthew McConaughey is such a man. Yeah. Looking, he's like muscular. Like, whereas, so I feel like Cal wouldn't have Maybe been. Maybe back then he wouldn't have been, though. No. Back if you think, you know, cause with his, because when was the time to kill? He was like, like, really, like, beefy in that. 
Um, but anyway, and and also this might also also put this on Patreon. But um, Leonardo wouldn't didn't want to read for the role oh. because he was hot shit then. And James Cameron said, "Well, you don't have to, but you won't be in the movie." Um, so he ends up reading for it. <laughs> All right, what else have you got? I have a match game. I have a match game. Do you want to go first? Sure. All right. All right. So as we have chatted about extensively, Rose was very, very selfish. Yes. Rose was so selfish. How selfish was she? She makes blank seem like Mother Teresa. Well, I'm tr- I wish you would narrow it down, Christina, because there's a million people. I think you can probably think of I think this is going to be controversial. Okay, well, that's fine. God bless. <laughs> this isn't going to be enough, but you know what? It says you right. You can just make all right. Are you going to dance? Ding. All right. Rose was so selfish, she made blank seem like Mother Teresa. The Grinch. Oh, my God. We're on the right page. Who did you have? Ebenezer Scrooge. Nice. Oh, that's a good I answer. I think yeah. it's going to be, I think it's a match. What? Oh. I'm going to say... <laughs> Christmas character match. Oh my god! All right. Still on the oh, Christmas. by the way, I have to quickly say something. Tell if, me. My, if um, my dear friend uh, Scott is listening to this. Oh, hi uh, Scott. Hi Scott. So Scott attacked me on <gasps> social media about the Grinch. No, about the Winnie the Pooh Wizard of Oz question. Oh. I, I'm paraphrasing. He's like uh, Brian. All Winnie the Pooh lives for is honey. Thank you, of, Scott. Of course, he's asking for honey. Scott. Yeah. You are my new favorite person. Yep. You are my new... Fa- it's 1,000%. But publicly attack me. Not even a DM. I love it. You just, like, put me on blast. Good for him. As the kids say. Well, right, I'm, I'm right. a publicly attacking <laughs> you, too. All right, here we go. Here's my match game. Ready? Okay. Christina, little known fact. One of the passengers on the Titanic was Dumb Dora. And <gasps> oh Dumb Dora is so dumb. Oh, how dumb was oh, God. she? God. Well, when she was invited to the ballroom, she showed up with a blank. Mm. Right. <laughs> I say the first thing. Yeah. Right. Mm. It's not going to be enough. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, ding. Ding. All right, Dumb Dora is so dumb. On the Titanic, she was invited to the ballroom. She showed up with a blank. With a basketball hoop. Oh, damn it. I thought you were going to say it. Damn it, bat. Oh, oh damn. Oh, that was good. Like, that yeah. was good. I was thinking of a net, too, like a bo- like a volleyball net. Oh, or my like God. Whatever. Oh, my God. Well, that so was... Oh, go. wait. More or less are about the same. Oh. Yeah. God. You it's know, more, I it's more really, really liked it then. Yeah. But, yeah, I think more. Because I didn't... I don't think the relationship was as draggy this time for me. Yeah. It was really draggy last time. But I think because I was really looking forward to, like, the real meat of the story. Yeah. So I think just even, just kind of relaxing and just, like, watching the whole thing as a whole. Yeah. I still, I still really loved it. I'm going to say a little more. Yeah. And more, yeah. It's definitely, it's an easy more for me. I think Kate Winslet's performance is, like, I know it's a big spectacle of a movie, but there's, a, she's really good in this. And I think the special effects are still hold up really. Yeah, just, most of them do. I, I mean, it's, yeah. oh, by the way. It's the 25th anniversary of Titanic. Oh, my gosh, I, No, really? I should have said that in the beginning. But, yeah, like, yeah, that's why we... Isn't that one of the reasons why we did this? I don't it remember. Was like, yeah, it was like the 20... I oh, believe my it's, gosh, yeah, how funny. Look at the date. Yeah, 97. 97. So, I think, it, I think it was even November or December... Oh, my gosh. ...that it came out. So, it's right around this time, 25 years ago. Wow. Thanks for listening. That was Titanic. And that's it for this episode of Old Roommates. Thank you for listening. For bonus content, please visit us at patreon.com slash old roommates. And follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, at old roommates. Thanks for listening. Until next time.